So today we're talking marine corrosion in wooden boats and we're talking to corrosion specialist Brian Gatt. Brian, what is marine corrosion in wooden boats? Marine corrosion on wooden boats is uh, a, a common thing that we see all the time. It's generally timber uh, corroding around uh, or failing around uh, the metallic components and it's generally caused by lots of different attributes. The biggest attribute we see is always due to the overprotection or the wrong type of anode used on timber boats. Um, we also see what they call galvanic corrosion. Galvanic is between two dissimilar metals. We're between stainless steel and bronze. It's a common common problem. Uh, then we also see on this other side effect is coating despondent and coating failure. So Brian, what are the telltale signs? What should we look for? Okay, on the slipway, what we're trying to look for, out for is any weeping around stern tubes or rudder tubes. Uh, where the timber may be softening. Uh, we're looking for excessive paint blasting and it, as you can see we can all the propellers and all the coatings here have failed all along the copper strips all due to either electrolytically problem or, or an over anoding situation. This style of boat I know has had zinc anodes on it for a long period of time they've been wearing out and you can see the cathodic despondment of all the coatings and that is a high reaction between bronze, stainless steel and the anode. It's got a very big cathodic difference causing all the coatings to react and what happens is, is the coatings, the, the over anode situation will also damage all the timber all the way around all your stern tubes and your rudder tubes which ends up softening your timber. The way we see it when we're inside the boat for you general boat owners is if you jump inside your hull of the boat and you look around your stern tube, your rudder tubes or different things and if you see the timber a little bit soft, a little bit mushy, guys that have got pea brackets, um, you can see if the timber's going soft use some white vinegar and see if you've got a, a reactance. If you've got a reactance between the vinegar and the timber that means we have an alkaline degradation and you can ask us some questions on how we can better solve the problem or reduce the effects of uh, over anoding in, within timber boats. But generally, globally, they just do not recommend to put zinc anodes onto timber boats. It is an over anoding situation and will destroy your timber boat. Okay, just back to that vinegar test. Yep. What's the reaction look like? If so, I put vinegar on the soft, the, the timber that looks corroded and what happens then? Okay, the reactants basically between white vinegar being a very mild acid and the timber, the timber is turned into an alkaline situation where the pH has shifted very high in alkaline. And acid and alkaline creates a reaction on the timber and it starts gassing and bubbling away. We use the alkaline to help passivate the timber and bring it back to a normal pH. Then you've got to then find out how badly it's been degraded. And I, I will tell everybody that this will happen if you have zinc anodes or an over anoding situation on a timber boat in brackish to salt water. What you'll also see is your coating failing. You'll see quite a lot of coating failure, a lot of growth always around these areas which are indirectly or directly connected to zinc anodes or, or high potential anodes. Um, a timber boat of this sort, uh, we have an international standard of between 550 and 600 millivolts. A zinc anode creates up on one, one volt. So by over anoding this situation, it will actually get between your stern tubes, your rudder tubes, and all these different types of metallic components and actually start dissolving your timber. It is a very different problem which is related to above deck situations. So that's a general question, a general problem we see pretty much with most timber boats. It may not happen straight away, but it'll always happen. And more water movement you have, more problems you will see. Okay, Brian, so if I yeah. see any evidence of this, either by using the vinegar test yeah. or by observation when I'm on the slipyard, yeah. what should I do next? I would particularly be consulting a timber boat specialist to determine how badly degraded the timber has suffered. And then from that, then we assess the anode situation. Now, every single timber boat is different. Mm -hmm. Every single one. We've got different makeup with different, different types, different metal used. Um, and then therefore you've got a case by case scenario to determine where the anode's gonna go, what metal we have, and the reasons why. If this had all mild steel construction, I'd perfectly say to use zinc anodes on all the running gear. 
but if it's got a bronze, brass, copper and stainless steel, or even some mono, I'd be using harder anodes, uh, the, such as a, there's an anode called a Maddox, which works perfectly and it gives you cathodic protection to suit timber boats without being overprotected. Okay, and you've got your contact details below, so if someone had questions, they can email you? Happy to. Um, in a lot of cases, we can happy to give you some general advice. If we feel that we have more than just something that we need to provide over the phone or over email, we do come out and we do consultancy work to educate boat owners, boat clubs, as well as the slipway yards to understand the changes in the industry we're seeing today. Uh, this isn't a new problem, but we've got technology which is changing. We've got a lot of electrical systems in boats changing. Um, you know, we're plugging into shore power these days, where solar panels on boats, we've got more design in the electrical system, so from the old Gardner engine. We're now using high performance diesel engines, we've got solar panels, generators, There's everything's changing. Um, and that's what we're good for. We're, we, we work with those changes to ensure that we're not going to damage any of the timber boats, nor are we going to have the, your metal components corrode. Where we see most of the problems in today's world is where people would go and modify their running systems. They would put new engines in, new propellers, new shafts. And the new metals we're using today are very different to what we used to use back 40, 50 years ago. And those particular problems there we're seeing is causing any corrosion between the props and the shafts more than what we would have seen in the past so therefore what we need to do is then assess all the changes you've made from electrical mechanical your, your, your physical running gear and introduce types of anodes to suit the current setup okay thanks Brian and if anyone's got any questions about uh, marine corrosion on their wooden boat or any boat if it comes to that uh, please feel free to contact Brian with contact details below. Thanks, Brian. Thank you.